I just want to start off this morning sharing some of the memories that the family has shared with me. James had a big heart and never met a stranger. Friends often comment about his smile and fun loving personality. I'll never forget the first time I really got to meet James and Libby. It was at a fellowship meal at Central and we sat down together and James briefly mentioned that he lived in Hawaii, he and Libby at one time and man that really perked my interest and so I was just kind of tapping his brain and, and talking to him about what it was like to live in Hawaii and we just we had a great time that afternoon and I totally agree. I, I felt the first time I ever met James that it was almost like we had known each other forever. A fun memory that was shared by the family, all our friends always wanted to spend the night at our house because we had the coolest day. On several nights, dad was our getaway driver when we would TP another friend's house. That is pretty cool. He also had the loudest whistle. When we heard him whistle, we knew that it was time to run to him. It's pretty special. A funny moment, he bought a trumpet at a yard sale and would bring it to the high school football games and he would sit on the 50 yard line and play random notes and then get all the fans to yell charge. <laughs> he was always supportive. He always had our back, even when we were wrong. He loved our mom, he loved his family. Family was very important to our dad. He loved music. From being a DJ while in college at Abilene Christian, I could see that. To impersonating Elvis at talent shows and family reunions, I wish I had actually seen that. But these were just some of the memories that Jay sent to me this week. He was truly a special guy. Fun to be around. You know, the Bible tells us in Job chapter 14, verse 1, that life is short and it's full of trouble. And as I think about the life of James, it was short, 72 years old. At one point when I was younger, I used to think, boy, that's old. I thought 40 was, was old. But now that I'm in my 40s, I think, boy, that's, that's still young. And so I think about how short life, life really is and, and can be and how full of trouble it can be. James experienced trouble in this life. The loss of loved ones, the physical conditions that he dealt with, as long as I've known James, he was in and out of the hospital. And you guys went through that with him. And so you know that as well, that this life is full of trouble. But I'm reminded of something that Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. And this is the great thing about James. He loved the Lord. He was a Christian. And this is what Paul wrote to those who serve the Lord, he says, we don't look at the troubles that we can see right now. Rather, we look forward to what we have not seen. For the troubles we see will soon be over, but the joys to come will last forever. And so we hold on to that hope that as Christians, there is a greater joy to come. I, I think that James' life was a display of joy, even through all the things that he had been through. He was just a joy to be around, but I think about the joy that he's experiencing now.
Isaiah 57 verse 2 says, For those who follow godly paths will rest in peace when they die. Revelation chapter 14 verse 13 says, And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this down, Blessed are those who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, They are blessed indeed, for they will rest from their hard work, for their good deeds will follow them. I rejoice with James today, but for friends and family who still remain here on this earth, I know that this is really heartbreaking. It, it hurts because you want to be with James. You want to be with those loved ones who have gone on. But I want to encourage you with just a couple of things. And, and this is my prayer, really, for all of you today. First of all, that the Lord will give you strength through this. Isaiah 41, verse 10 says, Do not be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, and I will help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Also in Psalm 34, verses 17 through 18, the Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He will rescue those whose spirits are crushed. And so my prayer for all of you is that God will strengthen you and he will lift you up during this hard time. I also pray that God will heal your heart. Psalm 147 verse 3 says that God heals the brokenhearted. He bandages their wounds. I know over time, God will heal your heart. And may God also comfort you. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 through 4. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion, and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in our times of trouble. What I want to do right now is I, I just want to pray for all of you. I know that 2020 has been a pretty rough year for many of you. And I think about what the family is going through right now. And so I just want to pray over you. And I want to pray for that strength and that comfort and that healing. And so let's pray. Father, I just come before you right now. And I just want to lift up friends and family, Libby and the kids. Father, I just pray that you will hold them in your most holy hands. Father, I know that even as they go through something like this, Father, that you can strengthen them and carry them through this time. I also know that you can bring comfort and peace and healing to their hearts and so father i'm just asking you to to be with this family bless them and father i just pray that you will see them through this father i also just want to thank you so much for the time that all of us had with james father he was truly a special guy he was he was truly a joy to be around it's people like James who truly bring a blessing to this world. And so, Father, thank you so much for the time that we had to spend with him. Father, we especially thank you for Jesus, the hope of our salvation, so that in times like these, Father, we can rejoice. Father, we just, we pray that you will continue to help us as we go through 2020. Father, we know that there will probably be more challenges to come. But Father, we just pray that you will direct our minds, not to this world, but to the unseen world where we'll be with you forever, where we will live in joy forever. And Father, we just pray this prayer in the power of Jesus' name. Amen. I want to close out with this verse 
Romans chapter 8, verse 38. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I believe Jay. For, uh, for coming. I want to thank the Navy. That was truly impressive. And for a Marine to say that, that's, that means a lot. Uh, yeah, we were talking, and ben, ben and I wanted to come up and say a few words. Uh, first of all, thank you guys for coming. COVID and this whole mess uh, of a year, this is just sort of an icy little cake uh, for us. But really appreciate you guys coming and, and pouring into our family and, and loving on mom and, and us. You know, as we as we thought throughout this week, and oh yeah, Bates late. Oh, you're for right. everything. Yeah. Um, as we thought about how we wanted to sort of remember Dad and celebrate him, yeah, we, we were we had a lot of memories that we were going through. Um, unfortunately, uh, they're not shareable in, in mixed company. <laughs> um, but we had a lot a lot of fun um, thinking about it. Um, there's going to be um, a lunch after this the central church has been gracious enough to, to host uh, host us if you if you are comfortable and feel safe and and okay having a having a bit to eat um we'd invite you to come by and um and just uh, be with us today so ben did you have i can't say anything better than that that was perfect okay thank you all for coming so much it means so much to my dad family and everything and uh, y'all are great thank you yeah Thanks. I don't know what we do from here, but <laughs> thanks everyone. Yeah, thanks for everyone being here. There's some, there's some, uh, there's some food fast in here and cheese and a couple of personal things for us. And since it's Halloween, we should keep being here. Right. <laughs> 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 that, 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 